Welcome back to video number 13. How you guys feeling? Good, good. Me too. Me too. Okay, so in the last video we created our first dynamic PHP web page and we called it header.php and we have it inside our includes folder. Let me cross this out. Okay, so includes folder is a big part of PHP because this is where all of our dynamic stuff is going to go so we don't have to hard code any HTML anytime we want to change our site. So what do we have right now? Okay, so we have our content.php page and our faculty.php page. And for our faculty.php page, since we have that header file now, we could either keep this or you could take it out and then make PHP tags and then include it, but it's up to you. It's up to you. There's no right or wrong. You can do what you want with it. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to do the same exact thing we did in the last video with our head section and our header with uh, our footer this time. So let's go ahead and since we're pretty much using our faculty.php page as our template right now, let's go ahead and steal our footer ID copyright right down here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to open up a new file. I'm going to add that in there. And we're going to go ahead and call this one. Where's our includes folder? Okay, we're already in it. We'll call it footer.php. Footer. No, not foot. Footer.php. Let's go ahead and save it. Cool. So now we can go ahead and delete this. And let's go ahead and create PHP tags. You could do it all on one line. Again, I'm just creating three or four lines so you guys could see it better because I don't know how to make HD videos yet, but I will. I promise. I'll know how to make them by the end of next week. So what are we going to do? We don't need to echo anything. We just need to include our includes folder. And what do we call it? Footer.php. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's go back to our faculty.php page. And again, it did not matter if you did this on faculty or content faculty.php and there it is our footer is still down there so see what we just did we took this information and we created a new file called folder footer.php and then we went back and deleted this and included it so again if you guys have any questions let me know I love answering all your questions and I hope you guys are following along and this is all starting to check out so good luck with this and I'll see you guys in the next video